Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. You know, I just got to thinking about all this stuff that's happening over the last couple of weeks or so, and uh, I thought I'd make a quick little video just to kind of fill you in on a little bit. Now, I'm a school bus driver. I don't make a whole lot of money. My wife is a manager at Steak and Shake. She makes pretty good money. Together, we make pretty good money. But we don't always have very much money to spend. Uh, bills and all that stuff just add up. Food, going out to eat. She smokes and she goes out and grabs something to eat every day before work. So, a lot of times we're kind of, you know, we don't have a whole lot of extra money to play around with. So the chances of me being able to get a new computer and all that stuff was uh, pretty slim without having to save or getting a loan or something along them lines. So let me tell you what happened. This is how it all happened. And I don't usually give all my information away like this and get too open about these things. I think some things we should leave to ourselves. But I just I, I have to share this with you. So... Uh, I checked the mail one day, and I'm looking through the mail, and I, I usually don't even look through the mail, I'll be honest. Uh, but I looked through the mail, and I seen that we had uh, two envelopes from uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. And uh, if you're on the marketplace or whatever it's called, insurance, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. So, I seen them, and... When I tell you the chances of me opening these envelopes are about one in a billion, with a B, billion, one in a billion chance, I mean it. I never open them. Nine times out of ten, I would rip them up, throw them in the garbage. But, on this day, for whatever reason, and I think it is because it's so close to enrollment time that I thought, well, maybe I should check it out and see what's up, see if there's something in there, maybe about enrollment or something. So, come in here and I open it up, and there's a check. I'm like, a check? Why is there a check? Is this for real? Okay, what's up? So I look at it and I'm like, okay, that's a pretty good size check. So then I go and I get my wife's envelope from the same Blue Cross Blue Shield, and I open hers up. And there's a check. A little bit bigger check, even. I'm like, okay. So my heart's kind of racing. I'm, my mind's freaking out. I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I see a number on the back, 1-800 number or something like that. And I call it up. And it goes right to uh, a department or whatever that's specifically about this mail. About this check. So the lady answers, and I ask her, you know, I tell her what I got in the mail, and uh, and I ask her if this is for real or if I'm getting scammed. <laughs> and she laughs, and we talk for a minute. She's like, no, nope, it's real. Uh, we've been getting calls about these a lot. So I'm like, holy smoke. Okay. So at this point in time, I have quite a bit of money with these two checks. And the exact same day, the exact same day, seven months, at least seven months later than it should be, our income tax gets uh, put in our bank account. I checked online where you go to check and see the status of your check. And for ever since I filed and then had to refix it and send it back in and all that stuff, it's pending, pending, pending. It's processing, processing whatever that same day I checked the status of our income tax and boom in the bank account so in one day we got two checks and our income tax was electronically put into our bank account when I tell you, one in a billion 
chance of me opening them letters. I can't stress it enough. So having said that, uh, nine times out of ten, when we get any money at all, it goes on bills. Bills, 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 medication, bills, food, stuff for the house, you know, household goods, whatever. It's always going towards something. Never get to enjoy ourselves, never get to do anything, never get to really spend money or anything. And I said, you know what? I'm buying me a computer. I have needed a new computer for a few years now. Uh, the one that I built back in 2010 finally screwed up around two, around 2017, 16 or 17, somewhere in there. And ever since then I was using this little old laptop for everything. So, discussions were had between Mrs. Mikeyson and myself, and she was okay and on board with me spending a certain amount of money. To get me set up. So, we got the computer, got a monitor, got speakers, and then uh, we spent some money on Christmas and what have you, going out to eat and what have you. So, I got all that in, and then my wife took some of her half and went to the boat. Um, went to the boat which is up past uh, past Kentucky I don't forgot the state that's up there please forgive me anyway it's where you can go and gamble on a boat it's anyway metropolis whatever the heck um, so she gives me a call and she says she just won like five hundred dollars wow that's amazing okay so now we got two checks income tax and she just went and won about five hundred dollars on about five dollars uh, that she put in I don't even know if it's five dollars <laughs> so anyway she come back ahead on that and she was asking me what I wanted for my birthday and Christmas and all that and I was telling her and well I'm gonna have to link you to some stuff and not, you know I kind of want some I want a monitor and I need a keyboard and a mouse and I, I need a webcam and a microphone and all this other stuff and she said well if you want here's a couple hundred dollars that I was gonna spend on you for something you go take this and get whatever you need so I was a little reluctant on that because I like surprises I like getting gifts and stuff from you know on my birthday and Christmas but I took the money and that's what I bought my second monitor with so all of this so all of this, within the span of like three weeks or something, I've got these two checks, income tax, my wife hits it big at the boat, big for us, big for her, I don't gamble. I get this computer, I get two monitors, I get a little set of speakers, and also I'm setting up my own little man cave. And every, I mean, all this stuff just happened boom like that I can't stress to you enough the chances of me not opening that mail I, I can't stress to you enough I don't know why I don't know how I don't know anything all I know is I opened up that mail and from that point everything's been going my way for once things don't ever go my way I never get anything I never get to do much of anything you don't understand <laughs> you know I, I don't think a lot of you understand how hard it is for some people out here um, even those of us that make decent money together as a couple we make decent money it's still very stressful out here and uh, and the fact that I we got that money, and the fact that I said screw it, let's enjoy some of this money for once instead of paying bills every time. I mean, it just it don't happen, and I don't feel guilty about it whatsoever, at all. 
None. <laughs> um, because it never happens. So that's kind of a little insight, a little story of how all this came to be. And I am still shaking my head in disbelief and just... I don't even know the other words to use. But the fact that I opened that first envelope. I, I can't. I can't even understand it. <laughs> so, anyways. One in a billion. Easily. One in a billion. I hope you opened your one in a billion. Because you might have got something in the mail yourself. Well, guys, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little videos to what's going on and how it all happened so anyways get up get out get rad do it to it even when using your left hand instead of your right get up get out get rad and do it to it get up get out get rad and do it to it we'll see y'all later Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!